Hello Capricorn, welcome to your November 2019 Love and Romance reading. Thank you so much for joining me. These readings are timeless, so try not to get caught up on the dates of when they're posted. If the title and the content of the messages resonate for you, then it doesn't matter if you watch this six months from now. So let's see what's coming in for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Love and Romance. November 2019, Capricorn, the sign of Capricorn, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Love and Romance, I feel like we need to shuffle this way just for a moment, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Love and Romance. What's this? Whoo! Six of Wands fell out while I was shuffling, as you saw. So victory, either you're victorious uh, in your love life, um, the situation, whether you're with somebody or you're in separation or you had a falling out, there's something going on where you're victorious in some way, whether you're victorious with moving on with your own life and allowing the other person to see you blossom and thrive without them and beyond them, or whether you're victorious in this connection, either healing the connection, coming back together with this person, reconciling, um, and, you know, just fixing what was broken and coming back together on a clean slate on the same page and having an honest go of a go at it or a go of it in this relationship with this person in a better place. So that's very good. Um, six of Wands on the shadow side can also be, you know, needing attention, wanting attention. Either you're standing in your power and you're getting attention from a lot of other people right now because you're doing really well in your career or your um, academic pursuits or your passion projects. And, you know, people are giving you pats on the back and praising and celebrating you. And your person is noticing this. Um, that could be going on. The Six of Wands on the shadow, shadow side can also mean... Um, you know, somebody who seeks a lot of attention or as other tarot readers call it, attention whores. Um, and then on the flip side of that, your person could be wanting attention from you and either they're getting it from you for some of you or some of you are not giving them attention. And um, you're just holding space and standing in your own power. So let's do two more quick shuffles here for Capricorn, Love and Romance, November 2019 and beyond. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Last Shuffle Spirit. Thank you very much. All right. Let's, oh, that's interesting. There we go. Okay, this is the current situation. You, your person past and in the future let's see what's coming in here for Capricorns wow oh my goodness look at this well right in the center of the reading so this is the current energy from the past on up to the present this is the main focus this is the situation this is the issue or just the energy that's swirling around you Capricorn we've got the five of Pentacles in the tower whoa so Either some of you have gone through a tower moment, a breakup, a falling out in the past with your person, and this energy is still very much present right now. You're in separation. You're not speaking. Uh, you have blocked to this person. You've shut down You know any connection or contact or ability to communicate with you. You've left somebody out in the cold. Vice versa, somebody could have done this to Capricorn. Um this could have also been something that happened after the fact, like you got left out in the cold or you left them out in the cold and neither of you even knew that it was going on until the tower moment happened. So there could be a sense of betrayal going on here as well, where you know you find out about something after the fact that it happened, the betrayal had already happened and it severed the tie and you were the last one to find out, you're the last one to the party, so to speak, or they are. That could be going on for some of you where there's absolute heartbreak and betrayal and grief going on here others of you you're the one that initiated a breakup because whatever you know whatever the reason is so many Capricorns watch this video so either you initiated the ending of a connection with somebody or relationship um, because it wasn't good for you it wasn't healthy you weren't feeling like this relationship was going anywhere 
There could be money problems here too, either on your end or their end. That could be something that contributed to uh, the severing of the tie. Maybe somebody wasn't, you know, they just didn't have it together. They didn't have their life together, their finances together. They're making poor decisions. Um, that could be going on here. Um, and if it's not due to reckless behavior, this could just be somebody's having money issues due to other circumstances in their life that are out of their control, major illness, divorce, um, you know, children involved in the picture. So you've got alimony, you've got um, ch child support, spousal support, things like that. This can also be money in terms of family of origin. So maybe there was inheritance that wasn't received. Um, certain monies did not get paid out or there was no distribution from insurance, that kind of thing. Uh, this can also be, for some reason, I'm picking up on a health issue for some of you and this could be for some, you know, very few of you, but there was a health issue where it's like it was catastrophic in terms of finances where the hospital bills and the treatments were just way too much. And there's no way that, you know, you, or your person or whoever they're connected to could pay for this. This can also be an illness in the extended part of the family that somehow, some way, whether on your side or your person's side, it impacted the relationship. So there could be all kinds of things going on here in terms of you know the different storylines with those types of things. This can also be being left out in the cold because family didn't ex accept you um, or your family didn't accept your person. And so there was social pressure and expectations there where you know, somebody had to get left behind uh, because, um, you know, being a part of, of the, the family was more important, okay? So there could be that going on here as well. You could be dealing with a Scorpio for some of you with this Tower card. It doesn't have to be. And then for others of you, none of those storylines, you know, uh, resonate, but this energy is still here for whatever reason. There was a blow up, there was an argument, there was a falling out, there was a betrayal, there was something that happened here that really rocked your world, Capricorn. Okay, I am also picking up on an energy where some of you are in long term relationships, partnerships, or marriages, and something happened either already or it might in the future if you're not aware of it that has rocked the core of your relationship that has rocked the foundation so let's say you're married for a long time you guys have a solid marriage commitment family unit etc something happens within the extended families that rocks your that threatens threatens the security the stability of your current relationship whatever that is okay and i could come up with so many scenarios we don't have time for that in-laws um you know sister-in-laws brother-in-laws parents grandparents um you know something there could be lies deceit betrayal all kinds of things there could be something tricky around money here within the families of origin um that could be going on here as well the other thing that be go could be going on here is uh for some of you i'm just getting this image of needing to help family out um, I'm feeling some drug addiction and alcoholism here I mean this stuff is coming in pretty strongly probably because I'm recording this in uh, October it's only a few days before Halloween when I'm recording this so the veil is getting pretty thin to the spirit world and um, I'm, I've been getting very vivid flashes and images and movies playing in my mind's eye when I'm working with people so um, I am picking up on this for some of you where there is drug addiction or alcoholism, um, you know, and again, this is only for some of you where you are needing to, you know, deal with this person or you and your significant other have been trying to help somebody in the family get clean and sober, or you've had to take care of their children um, while this person goes and gets clean. It's been a financial burden, you know, on, on your family of unit, your family unit, your family of origin, something like that. There could be an extended family member who's been trying to take advantage of you and your person your resources your you know your 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 clout your ability to pull strings or make things happen so i am feeling that for some of you um some extenuating circumstances and or influences in in you know first second third fourth removed you know people if you will but still connected to the family or your relationship in some way so i know that was like a really long a little bit all over the place um just getting so many potential scenarios for Scorpios here. Others, I'm sorry, oh, Scorpio, because I'm looking at the tower. Capricorns. Um, others of you Capricorns, this has nothing to do with money, finances, family, you know, dealing with other people. This breakup, breakdown, 
and disintegration of your connection, your relationship happens strictly between you and your partner. Something within you know your relationship that is not being influenced by other people, outside parties, etc. And so there could just be something going on where there was not a meeting of the minds. You guys couldn't get on the same page, and somebody walked, whether it was you or whether it was them. In the past, we have the Two of Swords and we have the Judgment. So this is you know this is to me is saying that there was a lot of confusion on whether we were going to be able to reconcile reconcile reunite put our differences aside come to you know a, um, a well a conclusion but come to you know it's almost like a, the need for mediation coming to uh, a meeting of the minds really you know agreeing to disagree or agreeing with each other trying to get on the same page so the need to compromise definitely comes up here so there was very much um, some confusion around this there was a standstill a stalling out with the two of swords there was no communication some of you hung in there in a relationship for a prolonged period of time that was spinning its wheels stuck in a rut not going anywhere you were waiting to see if there was going to be any judgment i.e. Um, healing, reuniting, resurrecting, etc. Also judgment in terms of justice, justice getting served, okay? The truth coming out about something, righting a wrong. Um, somebody, somebody needed to get vindicated as well. And this isn't going to be for every Capricorn, but I just got that. Vindication was necessary because there was lies, there were people playing games, there was, you know, charlatans involved in, in a situation. So that's for some of you. Others of you that you're not dealing with the outside influences, this is going on in your relationship with your person just strictly between the two of you, okay? And so what was going on here was there was some kind of a standstill. And so you were waiting, 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 or they were waiting, waiting, waiting for the healing and the um, the reconciliation of this relationship to, to put you know, to get clarity, there was no clarity on something here with the Two of Swords. No clarity, no communication, standstill, I don't know what to do, almost being frozen in fear, uh, not sure what move to make, not sure what decision to, to, to make or what route to take, that kind of thing, just kind of waiting it out waiting for some sort of indication and so for some of you this dragged on for way too long and you finally said you know what i can't take it anymore somebody's got to do something otherwise this this situation between us is literally like a rotting corpse okay it's really starting to stink in here it's really disgusting i don't feel good about this situation that we're in there's no room to breathe there's no room to expand or grow there's no you know it's just festering and and like an infection under the skin or something and it's becoming more and more painful the silence of this situation for some of you could have been what broke the camel's back and caused the the falling out it's like somebody finally came to a breaking point you know they they were busting out of their skin on this and, and they broke and they finally spoke up and said you know what i can't take this insanity anymore you haven't been doing anything to help heal this relationship between us i've been waiting for you or they've been waiting for you capricorn and so therefore it takes two to tango and because effort wasn't being put in here somebody bounced so i'm feeling that energy as well whether this was you that did it or or them that did it okay this can also be indicating these two here that for a long time there was secrets or something that was being hidden something that was being covered up whether this was between you and your partner or this was uh your relationship you as a couple and outside influences other people swar swarming and swirling around your home your lives your relationship your reputation all of that stuff um and so as a result of that at some point something finally gave the truth came out about something about someone okay lies deceit trickery shenanigans fuckery um betrayal all that kind of stuff and it doesn't just have to be between you and your romantic partner this could be truth that came out about uh, an, an an outside influence or or person or source that was affecting your relationship right so like a generic example you and your partner 
are you know happy as can be everything is great but you've got a nasty in-law who has been spreading lies about you two to the rest of the family stirring the pot causing drama and um taking the narcissistic approach of divide and conquer where they're trying to you know turn people against you whether this was a family member whether this was you know somebody at work whether this was your neighbor down the street you know what i'm saying it's almost like there's a feeling of um for some of you that that there's somebody around you and your partner that kind of had it out for you Capricorn for whatever reason and but the thing is is that it's like finally truth 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 it was concealed you know there was confusion everybody was in the dark some people weren't believing the twisted stories but then they get confused because they would see little glimpses of evidence they didn't know who to trust and same with you and finally shit hit the fan truth came out the tower moment happened and whoever it was for those of you dealing with outside influences whoever it was that was wreaking havoc has now been found out right they're in the spotlight they're hanging their head in shame um and they they got you know it, it's it's definitely I, i'm just feeling a really heavy um energy around um charlatan 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 that keeps coming up for me like it you know and i said it earlier a couple minutes ago and so it, it's just growing stronger growing stronger so whether it was you whether it was your person of interest your partner or whether it was somebody outside of the relationship charlatan okay somebody wasn't playing fair basically and you know stuff got found out this can also be a domino effect where certain things happen, certain truths came out, and it kind of just went down the line. And then, and then Capricorn, you had enough. You were like, enough is enough. I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of the clicks. I'm tired of you know all the he said, she said bullshit, and and you know the 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 people that are involved that are stirring the pot. The, I mean, it's just like Harriet High School. You could have had enough Capricorn, and you decided to say peace, peace. I'm out. See you later, okay? This isn't a healthy relationship. It's not a healthy family dynamic. It's not the type of people that I want to be involved with. It's not the type of people that I want to build a life with. Because when you come together with your partner, you are also building a life with their family and they're building a life with your family, your friends, their friends, your acquaintances, their acquaintances, your work family, their work family. Do you see what I mean? And so, it just kind of ripples. It's like a ripple effect. When you put a pebble into a pond, it just, you know, ripples out. And so there could be a real, there could have been a realization here for Capricorns where you decided, you know what, this is not a healthy circle of people, okay, that I'm involved with. And when I look at my life five years from now, 10 years from now, I don't want to consider these people my family. So I'm feeling that strongly for some of you. And so that tower moment happened. And again, I know this was a mosh posh of mixed messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest because I'm getting boom, 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 boom. All these hits right off the bat for Capricorns everywhere. Okay. And so every, every one could be a different storyline. This is you Capricorn, hanged man and the 10 of pentacles. So you are holding space, okay? The hanged man is you're hanging back, you're laying low, you're getting a new perspective on things, you're kind of waiting, you're waiting for water to seek its own level, you're waiting basically for people to hang themselves because they always will when you have tricksters in the game and uh, you're waiting for people's true colors to come out and for the truth to reveal itself without you having to lift a finger to be the one to uncover the truth. And, um, and so you're hanging back and what you're doing is you are, some of you are holding on to your family unit. You are trying to protect your family, your, your significant other, your spouse, your marriage, your, your connection, your commitment, your home, your children, your livelihood. That 10 of pentacles is all about, you know, the homestead, the farm, the family unit. Um, you know, traditions, uh, you know, extended family, money, finances, investments, okay? This is also a card of inheritance. Um, so some of you are doing that. You are, you are protecting your family from outside influences. You're waiting for the outside influences to essentially hang themselves. You're waiting for the truth to come out on its own so that maybe you guys can be cleared from this situation or vindication can happen that way. So that's for some of you. Others of you, you have left a relationship. 
you broke up with somebody because of your family of origin, your parents, your siblings, your extended family. You are now hanging back into your family of origin after you have separated from this person down here for whatever reason either there was family pressure that your family didn't like this person that you were with and you know uh, pressured you and through family expectations you um basically um uh, became submissive to it you um, you went along with it you broke it off with this person so that you could maintain your family of origin the strong connection with your family okay that could be going on for some of you others of you um, your um, hang on I'm getting something here Wow, for some Capricorns, I'm feeling true heartache here. True heartache because you really loved this person. And this is this is for those of you that your family pressured you to get out of this relationship. True heartache because you really love this person. You really saw them as your soulmate, your life partner. But you didn't see how you could make it work. Because it's like your family was adamant about you not being together. And even could have threatened you in some way. Like if you get together with this person, if you marry this person, if you have this children's, this person's children, whatever, you're not going to be part of our family anymore. And so you felt like you had to choose. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, even though this, this hangman is representing you, but it doesn't have to be. Um, so I'm, I am picking up on true heartache there for some of you. Okay. Now on the flip side of that, some of you got out of a relationship because your family was trying to help you see that this person was not good for you. They were the charlatan. Okay, this is a second storyline for Capricorns where the person you were dealing with was the charlatan. They were presenting themselves to you in such a way that they're good and pure and wonderful. They're meant to be your soulmate, the love of your life, the life partner. They're making you all these promises, the sun, the moon, and the stars. Yet your family saw through their facade. And your family had been trying to warn you that this person is no good. They're going to, you know, use you, abuse you, take you for everything you got, and then they're out the door. Okay, some Capricorns could be coming from a family of origin that is well off as well. And so your family could have been concerned that this person, you know, was after you for your money or for the family money. Okay, or for the connections that the family could provide them. So that's what's going on here for some of you. And again, a couple different storylines, but nonetheless, there is this need to hang back and really disengage. I feel Capricorns with this energy, just pulling your energy back. You're holding space. You're protecting what you do have and what is yours, whether you're still with this person or you're separated from this person. Some of you are just protecting yourself, your home, your career, your assets, your money, your family, okay, your connections, your friends, anything about you. Um, and also just getting a new perspective. But I am feeling that there's something going on here where family of origin helped Capricorn get a new perspective about something or someone, whether it was the person that you were with or whether they're helping you get new perspective about outside influences affecting your relationship, okay? This is the person you're dealing with, the Ten of Swords and Justice. We'll look at that. So either the person that you're dealing with, your person of interest, feels betrayed by you and wants justice, or the person that you're dealing with betrayed you and has not brought justice and knows they need to bring justice, okay? You're still waiting to be justified. You're still waiting for um, an apology for them to own their behavior for whatever, okay? This is, you know, the opposite ends of the spectrum for me. When I see this, this person is struggling. For those of you who are dealing with somebody who did you wrong, who betrayed you, and they brought about the five of swords, I'm sorry, the ten of swords, they are struggling because they know that they need to step up in the justice role and right a wrong. So that's going on here for some of you. Others of you, this person, you ended it with them. For the storyline of the Capricorns who ended it with this person, they are just beside themselves because the Ten of Swords is, is actual ending, 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 dead, done, you know, deader than a doornail, 
That horse is so dead you can't beat it anymore. It's not going to move. It's not going to whimper. There's nothing left here. And so this person is really worried. It's one sword above the nine of swords. So they are so worried and they are in a lot of emotional pain that this situation came to an end and they're trying to figure out a way to come back around to you. So for some Capricorns, this is a welcomed reunion. And for others of you, you don't want this person to come back around because you know that they were using you for something other than true love. Okay? So here you are up here, hanging back, retracting your energy, holding on to your coin, shutting your life down and pu pushing this person out with the five of pentacles tower blocking them even they feel not only left out in the cold with the five of pentacles but they just feel like either backstabbed betrayed um they could feel betrayed by you they could feel betrayed by your family definitely shunned and and outed outed ousted pushed out <laughs> rejected right now, for some of you, and this is going to be like maybe for 1% of you, not even. This could be a situation for some Capricorns where your person of interest was the one that was wronged by your family or by other outside influences outside of your relationship. And your person could feel betrayed because there was other people that turned you against them and they're waiting for justice. So that is a... That is a third storyline I see here possibly for the person of interest, okay? I think for the majority of you, though, um, you know, this person basically knows that they're on the outside looking in now. They either they messed up a good thing um, or they know they were a charlatan from the beginning and they're embarrassed because they got found out um, or they they unintentionally messed up a good thing. Um, they acted inappropriately or they made the wrong choices or whatever. And they're trying to figure out a way to get back in your good graces. Okay. And then over here, this is the future. We've got the star card and we've got strength. I mean, this is pretty powerful. So the star card is, um, definitely talking about major healing. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius. The strength card is Leo. Okay, justice down here is Libra. So again, it doesn't have to be, but right? We've got, potentially, we've got Pisces, we've got Scorpio, we've got Libra, we've got Aquarius, we've got Leo, right? Judgment, I think, is Sagittarius. But again, it doesn't have to be. And there could be Sun, Moon, Rising, you know, Venus, whatever's in their chart. Nonetheless, this is in the future. So Two possibilities here. Either Capricorn is dropping this situation and you are moving on by yourself. You are picking up the pieces. You are healing yourself. You are trusting divine guidance um, and moving down the path of your life divinely guided, more grounded and centered within yourself. You are getting rid of the drama and the second, third, fourth party situations and everybody's opinions and what everyone has to say. And you are just doing you. <laughs> moving down the um the path there and you are finding that strength within yourself again you are stronger within yourself you're stronger in who you are what you are what you're doing where you're going you know and you're not you you know better now you're wiser now you're not going to allow somebody to come in and take advantage of you ever again so that's for some of you that you're moving on you're dropping all of this including family stuff um, whatever this relationship was and all the other people and you are just rising above it you are going to thrive or you're already thriving you're standing in your power you're basically being the empress energy whether you're male or female and you know you're moving on down the road you're seeking brighter days and you are following not only the voice within but your spirit team okay that's for those of you that are going to break free and be single. Those of you that are still in a relationship, there's definite healing coming in here. Those of you that want to reconcile with somebody, you're hoping for resolution, you're hoping to find out the truth, you're hoping to hear this person's side of the story, whatever it is, or vice versa for those of you that are watching this and a Capricorn did this to you, there is definite potential here in the near future for major healing uh, and communication here. 
a wish granted as well. Somebody could be trying to find the strength and the courage to approach the other person with the strength card as well. Wanting to talk about their healing journey, wanting to talk about, you know, the epiphanies and revelations that they've had, wanting to take ownership and responsibility for their part in things, whatever happened between you two. Okay. And vice versa for you. Um, and this can just be coming together, sitting down, having that, you know, that come to Jesus meeting where you guys put everything out on the table, you know, no ego, no bravado, no pulling punches, just being totally transparent and authentic with each other. This is what I did. This is what I said. This is how I felt. This is how you made me feel. And they say all those things to you. And then you guys kind of hash out where the pressure points are and you come to a compromise on things. You are now putting to rest whatever happened. You're coming together on the same slate, right? The same sheet mu music and you're moving down the path together. Not walking one in front of the other together. Arm in arm, parallel, growing together, moving together, and uh, giving this an honest go. So that's very positive energy. But I will say, nonetheless, whether you're single, whether you're together with somebody, or whether you're waiting to reconcile with somebody, major healing is coming in here all the way around for Capricorn. So what we're going to do, Capricorn, we're going to move on to the extended. I want to pull some... Um, some uh, <laughs> clarifiers from this witchy tarot deck. We're also going to pull some intentional reversals uh, because that really helps to open up the story and unfold more information. Um, get some information on what's really going on here, what other influences are coming in here, what's going on with your person down here. We're also going to pull a bunch of cards from a bunch of other decks, what their intentions are, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, what they're struggling with, what they want to say to you, what action they're going to take towards you. All right, Capricorn, I hope this helped you. For those of you that want to join me, the extended, the link is provided below this video, and the rest of you will see you back here next month. Bye.